as you might notice, I am dressed like 2021 Jameson. This includes having hair that should probably have been cut three weeks ago. However, I will keep this as it is for now. The first thing I need to do is dress the part of 2007 Jameson. Now 2007 Jameson would go to a Hollister because he was obsessed with Hollister. I thought about going to a Hollister for this video and just walking around. However, that would involve going to a Hollister. So instead, we're going to do something different. This is my closet, which is clearly not a Hollister Co. However, we're going to pretend that it is indeed a Hollister Co. And I'm gonna try to find something that would resemble 2007 Jameson's outfit. However, this situation gets worse because I know that in the Hollister Co, they spray the SoCal cologne all over the clothes to make them smell like you need a migraine medicine pill thing. Even though I have outgrown the Hollister Co phase, I purchased this about five years ago. We can tell that I've used a lot of it. Hollister does indeed have the best smelling cologne. So this will be the one that we use. This is called Jake from Hollister Co. The first thing we must do is spray this cologne Jake on all of my clothes. I don't actually want to do this. I'm just gonna spray it in the air and we're just going to pretend. Um, Ugh, I can smell it, but you can't. I smell like I am in the Norwegian shop at Disney World after the Frozen ride. Doesn't quite smell like Hollister, but we're going to pretend. Next, I am looking for any old clothes that were Hollister back in the day. Obviously, I've moved on from Hollister because I have polar bear pajamas right here. I have this from Abercrombie Kids. That's basically the same thing, so I'm gonna go with it. Back in the day, I was really into ripped jeans. However, my parents did not approve of ripped jeans. Ripped jeans were considered immodest. However, this pair of jeans was purchased from Hollister to rebel against my parents once I was a full grown adult and had been a full grown adult for far too long to be shopping in a Hollister again. This is the most 2007 outfit I've ever seen. The shirt is actually from 2007, I'm sure. These jeans and this shirt might not fit because during the quarantine period of our human existence, I have gained some weight. But I will still try to pretend like it's 2007 and put on my old clothes. But before any of this is possible, we must spray these clothes with the appropriate cologne scent so that it can be accurate. I will first try to put on this shirt that does say Abercrombie on the sleeve, which is how you know that it was a cool shirt. This is a child's extra large shirt and it's a muscle fit. So clearly I have no idea why I purchased this shirt. I just got a whiff of the stuff I sprayed on it. I sprayed way too much. Oh my gosh, it fits. But now we must try to put on the pants. I do not know how to videotape myself putting on pants without getting banned on the YouTube. So we'll figure that out. I'm just going to zoom on my face as I put on these pants and pray that they fit because I do not think that they will. Oh my, oh my, no, oh, oh no, no, no. I'm having to squeeze. I cannot close the jeans. I'm just going to hold my shirt like this. And now I am dressed like I am from 2007. No, I could not leave the house like this because I cannot get the buttons up on the jeans. You can see my skin is bulging out of the rips because my legs are too big for this. But this is like a super slim jean, so I can't feel bad about it. I'm trying to pretend that these jeans fit but they are not completely on my body right now. Now we're going to do my favorite 2007 activity, and that is go on the virtual Magic Kingdom. If you don't know, VMK was a game where you're able to go to the Magic Kingdom on this multiplayer computer game. Somebody recreated it, but we're going to go on and pretend like we are actually in the virtual Magic Kingdom. Um, these jeans are so uncomfortable. I looked at the map and it seems like nobody's on this game anymore, but the people that are on this game gather in the Fantasyland Courtyard. We're going to pretend it's 2007 and Allie and AJ are all the rage. So I must share with everybody that Allie and AJ are all the rage. So I will say Allie and AJ are all the rage. Will anybody um, answer? Who is on this? I'm on, I'm on this. this. 
Is anybody going to talk about Ellie and AJ? They are highly relevant in this moment. Why are you talking about not Ali and AJ? No one wants to talk about Ali and AJ. Let's go see the castle, but there's nobody here. Is there anybody at the Haunted Mansion? No, it's just me. I guess I'll go alone to the Haunted Mansion. When I played the real VMK, I never had to play any games by myself. But as an adult, sometimes you don't have friends available, so you go on the real Haunted Mansion by yourself at Disney World. So this is very reminiscent of that. Am I oversharing? You know what else I used to do in 2007? I was on an Allie and AJ fan forum. Allie and AJ fan forum. There's a fan forum from 2006. This might be the same fan form I was on. To be completely honest, I don't even know what they're up to now. Oh my gosh, I made a fan website about them because I was really cool. I'm gonna see if we can find that. It was like freewebs.com. Looks like there aren't any matches. Well, I know that there was a match. Where's my fan website? I was hoping to find my old account and log in and see what I said. I think the internet might have taken them down. What else did I do in 2007? Oh, I know. This is kind of messy, I'm sorry, but I used to write in journals in 2007. Let's read some journal entries from 2007. This is a very fluffy Mickey Mouse. I have an identical Mickey Mouse journal because I wanted to have a second journal before they stopped making these. However, I never even finished this journal. Jump in was on today, but I was skiing, so I'll jump in tomorrow. Jump in was a Disney Channel original movie. All I did was write about being Mormon, VMK, and Disney Channel. Every single page of this journal is VMK, Disney Channel, or being Mormon. I woke up and finished Big Thunder Mountain Railroad on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I had a Roller Coaster Tycoon YouTube channel back in 2007. Do we go to those YouTube channels? No, I can't. I can't do that to myself. That is too far. I will not embarrass myself that much on the internet. I have found my old YouTube channel, Roller Costa 98. Yes, Roller Costa 98. All my videos have copyrighted music, so I'm not going to be able to play them. But the first video was uploaded March 17, 2007. Look at how beautiful this is. I am so proud of myself. This took absolutely no effort and I put it on the internet and it has 408 views even though I try really hard now and get maybe 20, but that's, that's totally, totally fine. fine. Oh, it looks like I turned off comments. I couldn't take the heat of hate comments. That's fine. 190,000 views for Splash Mountain. I don't know why anybody watched this. I can't believe I had a video with 190,000 views and now, you know, I don't. I'm amazed by the detail that I put into this. Look at that drop. It's completely proportional to the real drop. There's also no side of the mountain because that's how actual Splash Mountain looks. We're just going to skip to the drop because why not? Look at going up the drop. I put a lot of detail into the scenery. 190,000 views. Well deserved, I'm sure, for this video that took me no effort in 2007. Wow, we went down the drop. That was really big and completely unrealistic. And then there's a picture of Frere Rabbit. Why did I put this on the internet? Why did 190,000 people watch this? 190,000 people watch this piece of crap. And I can't even get 20 views on a video. Okay, that's not true. I get like 40. I have thoroughly taken a trip down Nostalgia Lane. Memory lane. This has been fun and I never want to do this again. These pants are extremely uncomfortable and I cannot wait to go back into my pajamas. Anyway, that was my video. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. You know what? I want to get ripped jeans for 2021, Jameson. They're going to have to be a size bigger so I can actually wear them, but whatever. <laughs>